What up? It's Tony Pony. Is this shit working? Yeah, I think so. Okay, you, it's your boy Tony Pony. Again, there was another dream vlog because it's Tuesday and, uh, well, just gonna do the vlog, so. Yeah. A little bit special, special, uh, special dream, yeah. Because, uh, it was kind of extraterrestrial, <laughs> extraterrestrial, E.T. So, uh, didn't see any E.T., but, uh, well, uh, um, hmm, the best way I'm gonna describe it is that I hold the phone against my forehead. And then I'll just show you what, what happens. So, yeah. I don't know how this video is gonna turn out, but um, no, I'm just gonna try it. So, this is my fucking room. I, I made the bed. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy shit. Um, yeah, I was standing right here. See this shit? That's the window. These shits were shut. And, uh, lights were off. And everything was dark and blue. It was blue, purplish. And uh, I was feeling very weird. Like some kind of vibration. But not really strong. But I was feeling really odd and uh i was looking and everything went in slow motion and uh i looked this side yeah <laughs> i looked this side and i saw a glove floating right here i was like what the fuck and everything was slow motion and i remember something I was doing something like this and I was looking over there and it was very slow motion uh, yeah that's all I can remember but uh, this this felt really reality I couldn't really distinguish between uh, that it was reality or fiction. Felt really odd. And, uh, the best way I can describe it is uh, shit. Best way I can describe it is uh, an ET bubble. Yeah. It was like being underwater but even more dense than water there's a kind of a density to it it's very very strange and uh, in the dream itself i knew this was et even though i never experienced that kind of shit before not that i know of but uh, in the dream i knew i just knew this was E.T. wasn't scary or anything, but uh, yeah, I knew this was E.T. and uh, it was real as fuck. Yeah, one of those dreams. It was very short, maybe. No, well, it's hard to say because it was slow motion, but uh, it felt like. 30 seconds maybe ah, and, and the, flo the floating glove was like a white white glove I think I have yeah thin glove but then white it was like it 
so like straight and I was uh, realizing it and uh, this wasn't like a uh, lucid dream or something but uh, I was realizing it was that that it wasn't right <laughs> I was a floating glove and well yeah that's about it this dream was uh, about a month ago and uh, later on the same night uh, I dreamt I was making mini cakes with my brother that's all <laughs> random as fuck but uh, yeah that's what I dreamt so then what you think uh, there's some dreams gonna get more and more ET stuff for those who don't believe in such things too bad so sad <laughs> um, uh, I think uh, they trying to tell me something yeah that's what I uh, that's what I think yeah um, I think I'm gonna make uh, a video explaining a lot of things about ET stuff that happened to me uh, what happened to me last year I was not abducted so or how, how we call it not that I know of but uh, some other shit went down and uh, things got pretty scary so uh, I think we're gonna make a video about that I already made some videos about that but I posted it on um, the uh, Facebook group um, but uh, I'll make a separate one for YouTube yeah. I, think we're gonna, I think I'm gonna do that so yeah. So if you believe in ETs or not, well, yeah, I'm just gonna tell these dreams, man. I'm gonna tell what what I believe and uh, what I feel, what I've been through. So I got reasons to believe um, these dreams about ETs. Uh, it's telling me something. or one wants to tell me something. I don't know. Yeah. So tell me what you think, what you think. Huh? Gonna go to the comments of last video. I only got one from Crisali, but uh it was a decent comment, I I think. Just gonna read it out. My first response to some of your dreams is to wonder what you read or watch on TV or in movies. Well, I don't watch TV. I don't watch movies. And I don't read any books. The only thing I really watch is uh, YouTube. Yeah, I think I've seen maybe three movies in ten years. No. Uh, yeah, books. I have some books about uh, how to date women and how to understand women. I read those a couple of times, but uh, that's it. There's a couple of books and... Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, TV. In my childhood, I used to watch TV. But fuck TV, man. So yeah, there you go. For example, if if you watch science fiction or horror movies or read books about such things, maybe they are influencing your dreams. No, no way, man. Sexual dreams, I thought, might be real, real, related to porn you watched or read or something 
just fantasized about it. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. I have watched a lot of porn in my life. Recent years, it's uh, a little bit less. But I've seen some <laughs> fucked up shit, man. Oh, man. Holy shit. Have you ever watched uh, hentai or something? <laughs> hentai or a cartoon? Oh, man. What the fuck, dude? That's bad. The freakiest shit I've ever seen, bro. Yeah, that that's, that could explain some of these sexual things I have, have dreams, but uh, uh, I don't I don't think so because I don't watch it a lot, but I I do watch it have watched it so. <sighs> But when I did a little research, there is no real consensus, I don't know what the fuck that word is, or proof that they mean anything. Some suggest dreams are affected by anxiety. I don't think I have any anxiety. I think these dreams, everybody dreams shit like this but uh i think i can remember them because of the iodine it's fucking iodine oh yeah that's dutch yodium boost boosts your brain power so i can remember them sometimes i think i can remember maybe one tenth of my dreams it doesn't sound like a lot but uh, at least I remember something and that's cool others say they are nothing more than electric electrical impulses that your brain pulls from various images already in your brain No, I think you're wrong because uh, I've seen shit in my dreams i never seen before. Some occasions you will uh, know in future episodes some things um, like interests are there but uh, with a twist and uh, well... Uh, could be, could be, yeah. It's interesting to think and talk about, but nothing to drive ourselves crazy over. No, no man, I'm, I'm a go and berserk over it, but uh, I have some dreams like the one this episode. It gets pretty real, real man, and uh, When you cannot really say that it was real or not, then your brain starts to think, what the fuck, what the fuck, man? And, uh, you get a uh, short circuits, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. In uh, the majority of the dreams, till now, I'm not going crazy over them. There are some crazier things in my life besides these dreams <laughs> I can't fucking tell you that much man holy fuck but uh well I'm not going crazy over them no but uh, I like to have a second opinion and I like to talk about him you know because I write him down so I noticed there are some other YouTube videos on the subject too. Do you have any kind of favorite dream? The dreams that I can remember. <laughs> yeah, good or bad. Well, well, I have one favorite, but uh, I still need 
to make an episode about it. Uh, because it was associated with a feeling I never had before and might not ever have again. So it was that extreme. As a kid, I used to love dreams that I could fly. I haven't had one of those one of those in years. Yeah, I had a flying dream. I already did an episode about. I had some other flying dreams, but uh, yeah, the one with the flying uh, when I was flying over the building, giving like the double fuck to my neighbor. Uh, that was. That was cool because uh, yeah, it really felt like I was flying so yeah, I guess uh, that was cool so yeah that's all you wrote thank you for the comments I hope I can uh, have given you a decent answer I'm gonna hard it Ew. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for commenting, man. Keep it up. Uh, yeah. That was all for the comments. Shoo. Next dream. Next episode's gonna be about sex again. <laughs> I thought, uh, I thought that shit was over with, but uh, just read a, bit, a little, and I was thinking, what the fuck, sex again, that's why I write these down, you know, if I don't write them down, it's all in the past and I will never remember, I was reading it, well, I'll show you the book. Like big ass book. See the line between it's all dream. That's a lot of shit. <clears throat> and that's only from two months or something, so yeah. That's a lot of words. So uh if I don't write them down. I will forget for sure, man. Because I, as I uh, was preparing for this episode, I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, well, that happens. Uh, so, you gotta write them down. If you don't, it all goes away. But, uh, not all dreams. Some you can remember without writing them down. But uh, I do anyways. So. I had another one today, uh, holy shit. Oh, that was the part in it, man, holy fuck. It was illegal, that part that I dreamt, so, uh, yeah, illegal. So, that's it for this episode, I guess I'll see you guys next time, and, uh, Comments and like and thanks for watching <laughs> you.